So you guys should be used to it by now that I am vlogging in the car, of course. Um, I thought I was gonna have time and uh, I thought, yeah, I thought a lot of things. to get this up actually pretty quickly because it's been two weeks now since we went on our little mini vacation and uh, we went to Nevada City and Nevada City was awesome and we stayed in this super awesome bed and breakfast called the Gold Creek Inn and I was so smitten with the place. It is so awesome. I can't wait to go back and I definitely wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so here's some footage and try not to laugh at my uh, banter back and forth with my husband. Enjoy. <laughs> this is funny. Honey, be careful. I am. Maybe. That's our room up there. I heard this was the best view and this is where I wanted to sit. So let's check it out. Ah, oh, this is where we sit. Cheers. This is nice. I'd like to stay here forever. This is right outside our room. That's our room right there. So nice. And we've got that beautiful waterfall right down in there. Oh, my husband's telling me to be careful. Can you believe that? Oh my god, so cute.
So three weeks later, I still haven't finished, but I also, I want to talk a little bit about the experience we had at the Gold Creek Inn. Um, Bob and Jep are amazing, highly recommended. They are right now booking through Airbnb, but they also take direct bookings. And I have to say that the experience was amazing. The details in the property and the room were just gorgeous. Um, Nothing was forgotten. Everything was very uh, detail-oriented and well thought out. Coffee 24 hours a day. Access. Hi, Chunch. Access to our room through a key code. Snacks 24-7. Access to the kitchen area easily. Uh, a little fridge, which I actually don't think was on, though, because I we put um, my husband's morning energy drink in it, and it wasn't super cold the next morning. Um... I mean, the views from the room were so great. The room itself was super relaxing. It's really nice being on the water and hearing the water move. It, it's, you know, puts you right to sleep. Um, walking distance from town. We were able to walk to town. And it was a Thursday night. So wasn't, you know, a really hopping time of night. And it is a small town, so not everything's open. So not everything's open, um, really late, but we were able to go to uh, a bar called the Golden Era, and they had some really incredible cocktails. We only tried two, and I wish we had made the time to go back and try some more, um, but really well thought out. I guess they got the mixologist or the bartender from uh, Bourbon and Branch in San Francisco, which is uh, a great place with a million cocktails as well. Um, and then we went and had pizza. Well, okay, we didn't have pizza. We were going to go have pizza, but they ran out of pizza. So we had a sandwich instead at, and I can't, couldn't tell you who it was, what the name of the restaurant was. Um, and then plenty of other places that we'd like to try. The town itself is really cute. Um, I can totally imagine, like, if we spent more than a couple days there, all the things that we could do. The Gold Creek Inn was awesome, really accommodating, very friendly people. Uh, spent some time talking to Jep the afternoon before, and then spent some time talking to Bob in the morning. Uh, and then she also made, it was a weekday, so she didn't do a full breakfast, but apparently she does full breakfast, cooked to order, on weekends and busy times. And since it wasn't a full breakfast, there was yogurt, there was fruit. Uh, they do a fruit plate for every room. And then she also did this amazing crumb coffee cake that she was taking out of the oven the night before. And we may or may not went in uh, cahoots with our neighbor and went and got a bunch of pieces of coffee cake while it was still hot. <laughs> But I don't think they really mind that. But anyway, the Gold Creek Inn was awesome. Highly recommended. And it was super reasonable. Um, I'm not even going to tell you how much because I'm sure the prices are going to change. I hope they're making money. I hope this is worth it for them because I want them to be there forever and ever. And they're such nice people. I want them to have lots of success. So, what are you growling at? Go get them. <laughs> Anyway, so that's the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I have a rant coming up if I can actually make time to edit it about predatory supplement companies.